Hi Aquarius and welcome to part two of your reading for today. This is going to be your advice reading. So um, yeah, we're just going to see here if Spirit has anything else that you need to know about what's going on with you at this time and what your advice is here Aquarius. So let's see Aquarius, what else do you need to know at this time? Is there anything else that Aquarius needs to know at this time and what advice do you have? For Aquarius. What advice do you have for Aquarius? Let's see. Okay, Two of Swords is back. This was the first card of your first reading here. And it's all in reverse. Everything came out in reverse, okay? Three of Wands in reverse is about not being able to plan for the future. Um, feeling blocked, feeling like you don't know if your ships are going to come in, okay? Uh, being unsure of what's to come next. Three of Swords in Reverse can be... Honestly, usually it's about healing. Usually I see it as healing. A healing heart coming out of heartbreak. But in this case, since everything is reverse, this is like heartbreak that you can't come back from. It's like unimaginable pain that there's... It's just like a scar. It turns into just like scar tissue. Nine of Pentacles in reverse. No financial stability, feeling unstable, being codependent. Okay. Uh, we'll see where this goes. Okay, what's the Three of Wands in reverse here? For Aquarius, why is that here? What's the Three of Wands in reverse? The Nine of Cups, Seven of Cups, and the Wheel of Fortune. So this is giving me a lot of hopelessness, okay? Um, this is an energy of somebody that feels hopeless towards their future. They don't know what's going to come in for their future. Um, but the, the Nine of Cups and the Seven of Cups... This could have something to do with um, overindulgence is kind of what I'm getting. It's like not knowing really what to do, feeling hopeless, not knowing what, what where you're supposed to go, what the future is going to look like. Okay. What's the Three of Swords of Earth? King of Swords in reverse. This is someone that's a liar. This is um, someone that's cold-hearted, mean, um, very malicious, abusive. We have five of um, wands in reverse. So this can be about violence. This can also be about um, finding solutions to problems, coming out of some sort of conflict. But see, usually... Honestly, usually the reverse card is for me coming out of that energy, not not in this energy. This is giving me like, um, especially because it's followed by the Ten of Swords. Ultimate betrayal. Ultimate betrayal. Um, painful, painful betrayal here. So this is giving me an escalation of violence. It's like when something goes from just a fight to an escalation... Something has escalated here and it ends in some sort of painful betrayal because of, um, I mean, maybe it is about healing a situation, but I don't feel like it's about healing something with you. If anything, I feel like maybe it's about somebody's heartbreak, lying about somebody's heartbreak, lying about the way that somebody dealt with their pain and suffering, claiming that somebody's heartbreak and hopelessness and despair about the future um, led to an escalation of violence and it led ultimately to some sort of betrayal. What's the Nine of Pentacles reverse? Okay, that one wanted to come out too. King of Wands. <clears throat> Two of Wands in reverse. So they said that someone here felt blocked. Someone here felt like they had been blocked. They couldn't move forward anymore. Um, they, 
This has something to do with what someone has been invested into for a long time. You have the King of Wands here coming out as well and the Five of Swords. Yeah, it's definitely giving me this picture um, that somebody has been trying to paint here of someone claiming that when somebody went through some sort of um, despair, betrayal, and heartbreak, what ended up happening is that this person felt absolutely desperate, hopeless, um, didn't know what to do, didn't know where to go from here. They felt like their future had been blocked. It led to a spiral, some sort of escalation of violence. And it ultimately led to someone um, feeling betrayed about all the time that they had put into someone, all of the time they had invested into someone, um, feeling like maybe something was a waste of time. And this led to someone feeling codependent. I'm, that's kind of what I'm getting here. <clears throat> tell me about tell me more about this three wands reverse please the world after a cycle ended after something closed out yeah 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 mm -hmm. claiming that exactly nine of swords that something that someone had found out, a truth, okay, led someone to extreme, um, like extreme depression, okay? Extreme despair, hopelessness, um, grieving, feeling like their future is over, feeling like they're blocked. I mean, see, the only reason why I, I'm like, fighting with my own emotions right now is that I just cannot believe that people will take someone suffering like this and then twist it around. It's like all of these people knew, they all knew that you were going through something painful, okay? They knew that you were going through something that was heartbreaking to you and then they used it for their own gain. That's the thing that gets me every single time is how they like, um, they like capitalized off of it. Demonic, evil, this is evil. These are the kind of people that laugh at other people's pain. Pretty sure of it. They laugh at people that are going through things. They laugh at people that are hurting. They just, they gossip about it. These are gossipers. They know someone is going through a horrible time. They're going, somebody's going through um, something extremely painful and then they gossip about it and then they assume things about how you feel. The thing is though, nobody cared, nobody in this situation, I'm telling you, Aquarius, no one cared about how you felt. No one wanted to talk to you about it. No one really wanted to be there for you. Nobody, everybody left you alone with these feelings, dealing with this, whatever this is to you, yeah? Everybody kind of left you alone with it, yet they took it, went to the next person with it and said, oh, did you hear that this person went through this and this and this? Oh, they are in so much despair right now and they are, and then this happened. Did you hear that this happened because of this and this and this? So sick. These people are fucking sick. Make me so fucking mad. Tell me about the Seven of Cups. <laughs> yeah, I feel like that's just my confirmation right now. Honestly, but that's what happened here. These people are soulless. They don't have empathy for another human being. They do not have any kind of consideration for what someone goes through. They don't... Um, feel bad. They don't feel bad. These are not the kind of people that have any kind of empathy. Um, they're not human. These people are not human to me. They're not, they don't have any kind of, uh, compassion for You know what? These are the kind of people like I, I just, I'm just getting this. I'm just seeing all of a sudden I saw like war scenes in my mind, right? There's a lot of people out here, okay, probably like me, 
that um, you can't watch the news every day. You can't see what's going on in the world every day because it's heart-wrenching, right? When you see things like war, when you see things like what people go through, when you see things like famine and desperation and how much suffering there is and there's absolutely nothing you can do about it, um, it's heart-wrenching. It's so, it makes, I've cried a lot of times about strangers that I see in the news going through suffering. There's nothing you can do about it. It's like, if you have that much EQ, if you have that much empathy for others, um, compassion for suffering, um, these are the kind of people that see things like that on the news and go, oh, they deserve it. Well, I don't care. Not my life. I don't care about them. Why the fuck should I care about that? It's not my life. I'm here doing my thing. They see things going on in their own circle, in their own family, in their own friend circle, the suffering, and they go, mm, I don't really care. It's not my life, but I'll gossip about it. Oh, I'm going to tell everybody I know about it. Oh, did you know that this person's going through horrible betrayal and horrible time and they're suffering and crying all the time? Oh, ha 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 ha. Isn't that funny? They deserve it. I don't understand it. Emperor and the Nine of Wands. The Emperor and the Nine of Wands. Why is the Emperor here? Three of Cups in reverse. Maybe now an Emperor understands why someone has absolutely no friends, okay? Like, honestly, if you resonate with this and you don't have a lot of friends, okay, no wonder. I mean, you might have actually gotten to the point in your life where you just don't even really fucking feel like dealing with people anymore. Because you've gotten to the point where you've realized nobody really gives a fuck, okay? Everybody is so obsessed with their own life, okay? Um, you might be the kind of person also, you know, you're always, because you're so empathetic and understanding and listening and open, right? People, you know, they love telling you about their problems and they love coming to you and wanting to trauma dump, emotional dump on you. Yet when you go through something, no one's there. No one listens. No one has an open ear for you. Nobody really cares about how you're doing. Okay. So what? Now an emperor is understanding maybe why someone doesn't have any friends. Or is this emperor now seeing that this is not this is not friends? These are not friends. Anybody that does this to another person, that does how can you consider that friends? These are not friends, these are parasites. Something about the nine of wands. Yeah, eight of cups. Now maybe an emperor is seeing why you've walked away from all of these people. Why you walked away from all of them in the past. Why you have boundaries up with them. Why you don't want to talk to them. Why you've blocked them. Nine of Wands blocked. You walked away blocked. Don't ever want to talk to you again. I don't ever want to hear from you again. Because of the way that you were treated by these people. Like who the fuck needs friends honestly if you're going through something painful and they don't even really give a shit about what, how you feel, man. Oh, that sucks. You're like telling someone, you know, oh my God, this hurts me so much. Oh, that sucks. Chances are 10 out of 10, next time you're going through something, you're not gonna tell anyone. So you've probably learned how to deal with a lot on your own, okay? That's something that builds strength though, okay? So a lot of people might see that and be like, you're always alone, okay? How can you always, you should talk, you sh maybe you need to talk to someone. Maybe you should talk to someone about how you're feeling. Maybe you should talk to someone about what you're going through. Don't you need friends? No, who the fuck needs friends when you've all dealt with people like this all your life? You've probably learned how to deal with everything on your own, like, 
Like, I feel like I'm talking to someone here. You don't even go to a therapist about this stuff because even a therapist sits there. Yes, they listen to you, but do they really care? Not really. Most of the time, they don't really even care. You're like sitting, look, you're like laying on the bench, talking to your therapist, right? Telling your therapist everything about what's hurting you. And they're like, oh, mm -hmm. yeah, writing notes, writing notes. Mm -hmm. Yeah, okay, so blah, 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 blah. like nobody really cares. Okay, you still go home in bed at night, lay in bed all alone and have to deal with all of this by yourself. Like there's no one here around you that listen, that truly listens to someone and cares about someone, tries to understand someone. Someone here is a, was left alone with everything that they went through. And then they also dealt with an entire community of people that took everything, every vulnerable moment every weak moment every fear every hurt word okay everything that was spoken about pain and suffering and they used it against someone and they twisted it around and they made it something that it's not Like, honestly, if I end up one day just building a house in the middle of the forest where no one can find me and I'm out there all by my fucking self, this is why, okay? This is why. Tell me the Wheel of Fortune. Like, honestly, someone here, whoever you are that I'm talking today, you're the same. You honestly don't even need people around you anymore. You could be, you could live alone for the rest of your life, be fine with it. Like, Queen of Wands. Wheel of Fortune is here for the Queen of Wands. Why? Ju because this Queen of Wands is under judgment. There is a Queen of Wands that is now under judgment. By the Divine. This is Divine Timing here with the Wheel of Fortune. This person's karma is about to get ready to come in here. That wheel is turning here slowly because of messages about a home, because of some sort of love offer in a home, something to do with a with a living situation or a union or a community. Yeah. Honestly, if anything, I feel like these people are under judgment for the way that they capitalized off of someone's pain. It's like what kind of fucking low life people do that, honestly. Don't get it. Tell me why this Queen of Wands is under judgment. For a cassette. For some sort of outdated thinking. For... What? For... For something about being frustrated in a relationship, lacking confidence, fear, ego issues, and jealousy. Replaying events over in your head and feeling like someone is not enough. Someone is jealous. Why is someone why is she under judgment for that? The Emperor comes out again. Because of this Emperor. This Emperor, she's under judgment with the Emperor for something to do with some sort of um, action that was taken here, maybe even repeatedly, okay, with the Nine of Wands, like over and over and over and over and over again, like someone did not want to stop doing something here. What is it that someone didn't want to stop doing here over and over and over again? The world. What, is something online? about receiving money. Trying to burden someone. Trying to burden someone. What's the um, Knight of Wands? 
coffee cup, meeting and conversing, friendship. And the Nine of Wands. Love. The truth is coming to light here. Be lighthearted finding out things are coming to light. Um, tell me more about this Nine of Wands and the Nine of Wands, please. With the Queen of Wands. The Eight of Pentacles and the Chariot. This is something that they worked on for a long time, okay? They put a lot of work and effort into this. confirmation or it's because somebody wanted to come towards your work somebody repeatedly repeatedly tried to come towards you at your job okay and they did this very persistently over time multiple times that a queen of wands tried to come towards you at work pretending to meet want to meet up with you wanting to um yeah, meeting and conversing, friendship, like trying to come towards you at your job maybe to get you to meet up with them, okay? Pretending to be a friend because what they wanted to do was maybe block love, okay? Block your love. Block you from being able to have love. So this is about someone coming towards someone's work. Four of coins. Or this is just about how they repeatedly worked on moving forward on this narrative. Something to do with someone being heartbroken about a relationship. This Queen of Wands claiming that you are heartbroken about their relationship, okay? Persistently claiming that what they had to defend themselves from you, they had to defend their love, even though it was probably the other way around. Okay. Yeah, they put a lot of work into this here. But tell me more about this Knight of Wands. Something blocked and backfired. Knight of Wands again. Knight of Wands on the Knight of Wands. What is the Knight of Wands though? This is how they thought that they would have victory in the situation. They thought that they would have victory in the situation because of some sort of player energy in a home. Yeah, because of some sort of love gesture or love messages or something, love messages in a home or about a living situation with the higher thing could have something to do with a marriage. So they, they're under judgment because they lied about you being jealous. They lied about you being jealous of them and you being frustrated because of them, you feeling insecure because of them, because they are living with someone in a home and married to someone and sleeping with someone, something like that. High Priestess. So what else did this Queen of Wands say then? Why else is, why, why uh, else are they under judgment now? What else did they say about you? King of Wands in reverse. They said you were angry with them. They said you were angry and in your ego and they had to fight you off. <laughs> Because you didn't want to let go and move on. Because you couldn't move on. You didn't want to let someone go. Or you couldn't get over something that happened. And then you had to defend yourself. Or you wanted to fight them. Because you were so angry or something like that. Strength. Six of Wands. Okay. So they then, then they said... That you had a complete fucking meltdown, angry, 
angry temper tantrum rage okay it's like blind rage like i'm gonna come destroy everything you love kind of a thing and because you can't move on and you're having a hard time detaching and you have like some sort of abandonment issues or something like that so is that what they said yeah something about a long-term investment or some sort of a practical, because of a practical plan or a strategy, queen of wands. Because of something with a queen of wands. Yeah, I know. Oh, because the queen, because, yeah, because the king of wands, uh, the king of pentacles, right? Because the king of pentacles decided that they were gonna invest into the queen of wands and not you. And they decided they wanna work on something with the queen of wands and be with the queen of wands again, right? And invest into them so then they said because you found out that the king of pentacles is actually with them and uh with, wants to invest into them that you had what some sort of a jealous rage and went after them the three of pentacles yeah and this is how they collaborated they whatever this was that they used against you they all saw it they all took it into their hands and they were like, oh yeah, this is perfect. How can we use this for our narrative? How can we manipulate this and make this um, into something completely different than what it actually was? Yeah, so they used this. So that's why she's now under judgment because she lied, just like all the rest of them. Lie to an emperor using messages and a king of pentacles. So they used messages and then they lied to this emperor about what actually happened back then, lied about the content of the messages, lied about your feelings and then everything that happened afterwards or something like that. Six of swords, two of cups, Lied about, yeah, lied about a relationship. <clears throat> lied about a relationship. They lied about the relationship with the Queen of Wands, and then they lied about the relationship with you. And everything that happened in between. So tell me more about this Three of Swords and Verse, please. Yeah, the magician, they created this. Then they went, then they took everything that they could, okay, that they could find out, these fucking hackers and stalkers, and then they manipulated an entire scenario around it. Yeah, like I just said that, literally just said that. They took the, the little hackers and the little stalkers here. These are stalkers, page of swords reverse stalked you hacked you took everything that they could find and created an entire narrative around this something about the king of swords reverse death and lied about an ending manipulated the truth about it, um, an ending about the end of a relationship what happened after the relationship ended and i'm assuming what happened what they said happened after that was an escalation of violence here what's the five of wands reverse <sighs> can't even make it up three of swords that you your uh something escalated into violence because of your pain because of your pain, because of the pain you went through in a betrayal um, that it made you extremely angry and you went like fucking off the rocker or something like that. Yeah, about a, about a marriage. Mm -hmm. Because this made you feel so hopeless and you feel like your entire future was over. Yeah, that's what they said. So they said that because of the heartbreak and pain you went through because of a marriage that didn't even exist, and if it existed only on a fucking worthless piece of paper, okay, that your heartbreak and pain over this escalated into violence because you felt like you could no longer plan your future. You felt like everything you had invested in for years was over, and you felt hopelessness and despair and depression mm -hmm. because, of, because of a living situation with a family. 
because they claimed that this worthless piece of paper, worth nothing marriage here, Yeah, they decided to, they said that you were so burdened and overwhelmed by this, this lie of this family situation, right? They claimed that um, somebody was living with someone else, living with a family, had a secret family on the side, that they were living together the entire time, and that because you found this out, you had a meltdown and a rage fit, when in reality, this was bullshit. Never happened. They made it up. They made all of this up. It didn't happen. Somebody was not living with someone. Somebody was not mar married to someone, maybe legally, okay? And like I said, because of the worth worthless piece of paper that still had their name on it, but not because um, they were together with this person. Talking about the Ten of Swords. The devil. They claimed that, yeah, you had a jealous, complete rage fit over this betrayal. That's what they said about you. The King of Cups. Why the fuck does this person keep coming out here? Having to do with this. The Hanged Man. Could be a Scorpio. No, not a Scorpio. Pisces. What is this? Why does the King of Cups keep, keep making a random appearance here? This person keeps making a fucking random appearance, man. Because of, the, because of a family breaking apart. So the King of Cups is making a random appearance because of a broken family or when a family situation broke apart or when there was a divorce. What? High Priestess and the Queen of Wands. Tell me more about this Ten of Swords. This, the truth. This is the truth about an Aquarius here. The truth about an Aquarius. The moon and something to do with fears. Someone's fears. How someone used someone's fears to create an entire illusion. Fears about a broken family. Fears about a family situation. Or the illusions that they cause around a de around an ending because of a betrayal. Claiming that there was a betrayal when in reality there was no fucking betrayal. It was all someone's fears of what could be, of what could have been, of what could have maybe happened. Wasn't real. Wasn't. Now why is this King of Cups showing up with this song? Because this person was part of the collaboration here. Okay, in, in what way? High Priestess. Oh, and claiming that you are a mistress. This person was part of the collaboration, claiming that you were just a mistress. Yes, that's what happened, Six of Wands. How the fuck is this person involved in claiming you're a mistress here? Because of messages. Because of messages that they lied in. Because of lying ass, sneaky ass, backstabbing, deceptive messages. About you moving on. Six of Swords. So they so there's messages, fake messages, lying, backstabbing, betrayal messages about you moving on after an ending lovers fight coming out of pain coming out of pain coming out of sadness coming out of despair coming out of heartbreak it has to do with the lovers having a lover having a relationship with someone so then they claimed that because you were so heartbroken about what happened and uh, it was just so horrible and you decided you need to leave it behind because there was a breakup that didn't happen either, but whatever. You then what? Ran to the King of Cups and decided to be the lover of the King of Cups. 
And then you confided and pillow talked with the King of Cups, telling him how you were just a mistress the whole time. And this is something about fucking fake ass messages. Or what is this? The Knight of Pentacles. Yeah, the magician. And the, then they created the next, then yeah, they created an entire illusion around the King of Pentacles. Whatever they created here, it was made up fantasy. They created this. They they created this shit. Pulled it out of their fucking hat. Has something to do with the King of Cups. Yo. Yo, the King of Cups. Yo, I just said it has something to do with the King of Cups. <laughs> what the hell? Yeah. And an investment. And an investment and an investment into something that is a large amount of money. Page of Pentacles. Four of Swords. Something about someone resting, someone sleeping in a bed. Yeah, that's what this is. The long-term financial strategy that they had. Their collaboration for money ties into this breakup and them claiming that you are codependent and not self-sufficient. Mm, okay. Tell me about the Nine of Pentacles reverse. The Queen of Cups. Because the Queen of Cups was telling everybody you're codependent. You're not independent. You're not self-sufficient. Yeah, you cannot make your own money. So you decided to invest in something. This is the scam business. This is how this ties in. Yeah, the risk that they took with the scam business. With the Ace of Wands and Justice. Their bright idea here with the Justice, with the legal system came from a place of a queen of cups telling people that you're codependent you're not financially stable you don't know how to make your own money um nothing's growing for you. you you you're not uh successful in your job tell me more about the page of pentacles the seven of swords this ties in this ties in with the lie that they told about this fake scam business that they ran in someone's name here. Moment of enlightenment, hangman. This is a, I feel like this is for me, okay? Revelation. This is a revelation here. This is an epiphany about the Queen of Cups. About this Queen of Cups telling everybody you're codependent. You're not successful. You're not stable, calling you unstable. So this person claimed that you're unstable and you're codependent and you can't take care of yourself because of, this ties in with the heartbreak. This ties in with this relationship, with what you went through in this relationship. And this large amount of money Yes, the truth. The truth about this Ten of Pentacles, this, in, this fortune that they all wanted here, that they got off of some sort of scamming that they were doing here. And the way that they wanted this scam money or this fraud money, this illegal great fortune, is by telling people that you're codependent and you're not successful and you're not independent because of, because you're like what? Because you went through betrayal? What the fuck? No, they started saying that you would do anything for money, that you would sleep around for money. That was what they did after that. So they said, why well, your heartbreak and pain drove you to making horrible choices, and you decided to then, what, start sleeping around for money? 
because you're not financially stable, because you had been hurt by the one, because what, the one hurt you so bad and you decided to say, fuck love, I'm never gonna fall in love again, now I'm just gonna sleep around for money. <laughs> Is that what they said? The chaser, they called you a chaser. Yeah, they called codependent, codependent. Fear of abandonment issue. Yeah, they said that you're codependent. You're someone that is unstable, um, codependent off other people. You don't know how to make your own money. You're very needy. You're very desperate. They called you someone that's desperate. Desperate for attention, desperate for love. You would do anything to have someone love you. You would even chase after someone that's with someone else. You thought this person was the one. They rejected you, but you're desperate. And you desperately want someone to love you that doesn't even love you. And it's because you're, you're, you have a fear of abandonment and you need validation and you need constant attention. And this person never loved you anyways, but you just didn't want to see it. And you were hoping that someone would um, fall in love with you, but they never did. And you were just like... They, this is what they said about someone here. <laughs> and it was all a lie. It was all a lie. They completely capitalized off of what someone went through here. Amazing, really. Said that you chase after someone that didn't want to be with you because you're codependent. You need someone to love you. You need someone to care about you. And when this person then what went back to the stupid queen of wands that's not even fucking relevant you decided to then sleep around for money because you're so desperate for attention and you're codependent this was the, this was the this was their hand of cards this is what they said take a chance risk being strategic options gambling this is their this was their hand of cards it was this queen of cups and mother figure here this queen of cups it said all this shit about someone being codependent and needy and desperate desperate for love desperate for attention unstable judas this queen of cups is judas she's the ultimate judas that's the truth yo that's the truth clarity truth revelation this Queen of Cups is Judas. Judas. The devil. Queen of Hell. Judas. <clears throat> projection. Classic projection. That's really, you know, it's pretty, you know, somebody that sells out their own um, family member like this for money, for this 10 of pentacles. Someone that says all of these nasty fucking things about someone in their own fucking family, calling someone a codependent chaser, fear of abandonment. This is projection, okay? Who's the real chaser here? Who's the one who's not financially stable? Who's the one uh, staying in toxic relationships? I don't know, whatever. I mean, this person is, this is Judas. And look, even the spirit world agrees with me on that one. Wow, that's how this ties in. Something about the two of wands reverse. The two of cups. Yeah, because um, something about you being blocked with a relationship or they wanted to block your relationship. Queen of Wands reverse. That's why this Queen of Wands in reverse here did everything to block someone's relationship. Okay. That's why this Queen of Wands reverse was working together with all these people. You've got the King of Wands here and the Queen of Cups here. That's the King of King of Hell and the Queen of Hell right here that worked together with this Queen of Wands in reverse to try and block a relationship. I mean, this Queen of Wands they really wanted to block this relationship. They did not want you to be together with your person. Why? Well, I can tell you why. Because they had been telling probably for months to years that you separated, that you broke up, that you did all of these things because of a breakup. Whole time you're dating someone. Whole time you're actually in a relationship with someone. Whole time you're not single. Whole time you're dealing with your problems in an adult way with your partner. Long time partner. But they wanted to block this relationship from you.
completely devalued you, laughed at your pain, and then manipulated it to fit their whole fucking narrative. Yeah. This, oh, poverty. 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 Saying you were left out in the cold. Saying you were poor. This is also why this, they tried to intentionally put someone into poverty. They intentionally tried to ruin your job, your opportunities, your career, your money. Because they claimed that the reason why you started, yeah, exactly, why you started sleeping around for money. My candle just crackled. Why you started sleeping around for money was because you felt so desperate, lonely, alone, um, like void of love. This, I mean, this could be financial poverty, but I'm not even just getting financial poverty. I'm also getting like that feeling of no one loves you. I'm alone. I'm desperate. Um, I just want someone to love me. I just really need someone to tell me I'm pretty, like that kind of a thing. Like all alone. Oh, poor me. I'm all alone confirmation because you felt betrayed about a third party situation wow tell me about the five of swords these people i can tell you right now they all have a special place in hell that is waiting for them i can tell you that much okay four of swords so they did some they decided to cause some sort of betrayal here or the way that they wanted to win at all costs had something to do with someone resting or sleeping in a bed or a room. Yeah, five of swords comes out on top of the five of swords. Definitely betrayal, definitely backstabbing, murders here. Definitely. They would do anything to win. They don't care. They don't have a conscience. They don't have a conscience. No. They came towards you at your work with fake messages, with catfish messages, pretending to be someone else here, came towards you at your job, at your work. That's why they catfished someone at their work all that time, was because they had been telling everybody that you sleep around for money and they needed, um, they needed evidence evidence of this right no fucking evidence because it's not true but that's why they pretended to be oh hi look at me i'm just a nice little i'm a cute little girl here right um do you have time on this time on this day so that i can come over to your house for an for an appointment can you come over to my house for an appointment yeah that's what this is about because of their plan here everything that they planned here yeah, because whatever this was, if you had fallen for the trap, they would have taken this straight to the justice system. They spent all this time trying to trap someone just to take it to the justice system because they had already been setting this up with this fake suffering bullshit storyline about who you are and why you're in pain and what, what happened after that and what like all this whatever the fuck that is, right? Seven of Pentacles. <clears throat> yeah, they had already spent so much time here. They had invested, this King of Wands had invested so much time and energy into completely devaluing you, embarrassing you, humiliating you, degrading you, um, telling everyone that you're a codependent, needy, desperate person that just needs affection and you're so lonely and you hate being alone and you just you would do anything for physical human touch and you're just a disgusting codependent chaser and you're you're in you're not um independent you're codependent and would do anything for money and you would do anything because you're just an insecure fucked up human being that has been through so much betrayal that you're just lost in your life and now you feel like you need to fuck around to make your money because uh, you're just so desperate and alone, right? And that you can't make anything else work besides that. Spend so much time defaming someone here. Absolute defamation. Absolute defamation of character. Nothing else besides that. Absolutely nothing else besides that. This story with this breakup was a central piece of explaining why you allegedly were doing things for money. 
But this didn't even happen. It didn't even happen that way. None of the things that they said actually happened. It didn't even happen that way. But they said it because that heartbreak and that deception, deception and that breakup was a central part of their storyline of explaining away why you are the way you are and why you're so desperate and needy and why you need this validation and love and why you do all these things and why you're so jealous and insecure. Mm, that was a pretty important piece right there, wasn't it? Claiming you're so hopeless and in despair and you don't have, you feel like you don't have a future anymore. High priestess in reverse. They called you a mistress in the past. They said all you were in the past was a mistress. All you've ever been, queen of swords, all you've ever been was a mistress. All you've ever been is someone that is on the side because you're so desperate and lonely. They probably also said that you were um, that you were okay with this. Like for you, it was no problem. Or I don't even fucking care. I don't even know. I don't even want to know. All, but they said this is what you are. Basically, you're a mistress and you're desperate and you're desperate for love or something like that. All you've ever been is a mistress. And that's why, you, yeah. and that is what they used to explain away their investment, their business, their sex trafficking business, right? Yeah, their prostitution ring. That is what they used against someone to explain away their fraud, their illegal sex trafficking business, scam business, identity fraud business that they invested into, right? That's what they used here to explain that one away. That is the cover that they used to hide their fraud, to hide their, um, their sex trafficking business. Sick, yeah. Has, yeah, this the the ending, the King of Pentacles in the past. What you went through with this King of Pentacles in the past, the betrayal that you went through, what you went through with this person in the past, the betrayal, the suffering, the heartbreak, whatever you went through with this person here, this is what they used to cover up the identity fraud. This is what they manipulated and used against you to explain away what they had done. Seven of Wands, yeah. Betrayal. Judas. All these people in here, Judas. Like, isn't that crazy? Isn't that crazy that they take someone's betrayal, use it against them while they plan someone's actual betrayal? Confirmation. These people use this against someone while they are actively also putting like 15 to 20 to 100 more swords in someone's back. Unbelievable. It's claiming that you decided to what? Have lovers because you're so sad and upset and grieving. This shit ends today. This narrative, it ends today. It does. with the hermit, the hermit what? Looking into a relationship. There's a hermit here looking into a relationship and what actually happened in the relationship. Yeah, I bet this person is because everything about a relationship here was a lie and there was so many lies, so much confusion going on that nobody even fucking knows the truth anymore here. Yeah, king of swords. 
because of the King of Swords and messages that were brought in by King of Swords mm, about someone's fears. About someone's fucking fears, man. About somebody's fucking fears, yeah? About being juggled. About messages about someone's fears of being cheated on and having a, have somebody having someone else. That is what all this shit is based off of. I can't even believe it. So the, the Aquarius. Yeah, here you are, Aquarius. Fears. Someone's using someone's fears. Deepest fears. Deepest pain. Deepest depression and anxiety. It's fucked up people. Fucked up people. All right, Aquarius. Let's see. What is your final advice here? What's your final advice here regarding all of this? What is the final advice for Aquarius here in this situation? Man, whoever is going through this, I can tell you right now, whoever is going through this needs to be fucking strong. You have to be strong to have to deal with people like this, deal with a situation like this. So much backstabbing and betrayal. So much betrayal that someone went through here. Unimaginable betrayal that someone has been going through for literally years, 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 years. Someone has been going through betrayal with every single person that has been in their life. Every single person. Every single person that has been around someone, been in someone's life. Let it be friends, partner, relationship, family. Every single person has betrayed someone here. The question to me is like, why? Why? I don't get it, why? I honestly, I don't get it. I don't get it. What, I mean, honestly, what, how? I don't get it. Whatever. What's advice for Aquarius? Yeah, the Wheel of Fortune. This is divine timing. Or this was part of destiny. Or this is just part of your destiny, Aquarius. It's maybe part of the reason why you came to this earth. What doesn't break you makes you, right? Destiny. Divine timing. Because... Somebody here was not juggling you. Someone here was not being cheated on. Someone here did not have multiple parties. Someone here did not have someone on the side. Someone here did not have two people at the same time. And if it was a marriage, then it was just a worthless piece of paper that meant absolutely nothing. That's the truth. That's the truth. This is the truth no matter what all of these people combined have plotted and schemed and made up in their mind and created illusions about the truth is there was no third party there was just a relationship between two people that was extremely complicated there was just a relationship between two people that was that went through a lot but somebody was not having um, an affair. Someone here did not have a second person on the side. Someone was not cheating. Someone was not juggling two people at the same time. Someone here was only uh, connected and committed to one person. The other person was not fucking relevant. Even if they wished to this day they were, they weren't. Okay? They want to be though. And then all of this betrayal was based off of this lie based off of someone's assumptions, fears, accusations. Wasn't real, didn't happen. The messages, the messages with the King of Pentacles, all of this was based on messages between someone and a King of Pentacles. <laughs> wow. 
and something about a living situation. Something about a home and a living situation and a community and where this King of Pentacles lived and uh, all of that. Yeah, it's all, all manipulated to fit their narrative. So what's the advice here? I mean, I feel like the advice is the truth is coming out. Don't worry, Aquarius. The truth is coming out and this is going to come in divine timing, but it will be exposed what actually really happened here. <laughs> Temperance, yes. Don't worry. Your angels got you. This malicious intent, because that's really what it is at the end of the day. It's malicious intent. It's Judas. All these Judases are going to be exposed for what they've done to someone here. How they defamed someone here. How they completely assassinated someone's character. How they twisted the truth. How they manipulated reality. All of them. Yeah, all of them. I say all of them. Look what comes out. Three of Pentacles. All of them working together here. Saying that you didn't want to walk away from someone. And you're someone that's needy, desperate, and codependent. What the fuck ever. Whatever. I'm ignoring that part. Your advice, Aquarius, is... Don't worry. The truth is coming out about what really happened here. You're fine, okay? The Wheel of Fortune is here. That means there's a big change coming, okay? This is divine timing. And you're being protected. Your angels are here. They're holding you tight. Yeah. All right, guys. I'm going to leave it at that, okay? Thanks for watching, and until next time, bye.